lot of compliments around how creative I am with my clothing, which is really lovely, but I don't think I'm any more creative than anyone else. The secret is that I no longer see my clothes as garments or just clothes. I see them as elements of style. I see my closet in terms of color and vibe and how I want to feel and different moods and things like texture and shape and proportion. So that when all of these elements are mixed and matched in certain ways, I can come up with interesting outfits. And that doesn't make me necessarily creative, but this is a concept that if you've been around this channel for more than like a minute, you know it's something that I've been talking about for years, but I've never dedicated a complete video to this concept of seeing clothes as elements of style. So that ends today, my friends. That ends today. Grab your tea, and if you really are interested in this concept of elements of style and using it to decouple personal style from consumption, then grab a ticket to my next live Shop Your Closet studio. It's the last one of the year on December 17th. We dive into this concept in these live virtual Shop Your Closet events, and uh, thank you so much to everyone who came to yesterday's. It's always a blast. Let's dive in. Elements of style. This is such a critical concept and mindset shift, especially especially if you want to dive deeper into the world of slow fashion and become a more conscious consumer, it does two really amazing things. The first is that it opens up so many possibilities in your closet once you start seeing your clothes as elements rather than just garments. It helps eliminate that boredom from wearing the same classic v-neck sweater or whatever your closet essentials are, and it really opens up the possibilities of mixing and matching what you already have have in new and creative ways. The second thing that it does, which is my personal favorite, is that it really does help you decouple personal style from consumption, from that constant hamster wheel of being told that in order to have great style or in order to like discover our personal style, we need to constantly shop and keep up with trends and whatever. I'm telling you this mindset shift is completely game changing in terms of identifying your personal style and getting so much much more creative and confident with what you already have in your closet. So what does it actually look like to use these elements of style? How does it work? It's a little bit like reverse engineering and it's not that complicated. For example, if you have to go out on a date, rather than thinking to yourself, oh, I have to put this outfit together for a date and looking at your closet and maybe seeing these pieces that you have hanging there that you've seen over and over again. And you have that one blouse that you always pair with this one pair of jeans and you're kind of tired of that combo. Rather than starting from that perspective, try starting from the question of what elements make me feel flirty and sexy and playful and smart and alluring, or like whatever it is that you like to feel when you're going out on a date. Again, this is what makes it so personal. Then from that perspective, you can go into your closet and find out, well, what are the textures? What are the fabrics? What are the shapes that achieve this, this flirty mood? Maybe you are are like a femme fatale and that's the vibe you want to give off and you are a super dramatic person or you want to make a really dramatic impression. So you go for things that have like really interesting structure, dramatic sleeves or like an all black figure hugging outfit. Or maybe you want to add a little bit of like playful tension. So you throw it on with a pair of sneakers and that gives you a little bit of that quirkiness in the outfit. Or maybe you want something softer and romantic. So you look for something with a little bit more drape. But again, because you don't want to be too dramatic or too flirty and sexy, you can add in a little bit of that effortless casual vibe with a pair of jeans and you get that really great texture and vibe tension. So you see, it's less about the clothes themselves and more about the elements and this really fantastic chemistry that comes together when you mix the elements together in your own unique way, like a periodic table of elements of style. Once you get this concept, it is so liberating and I swear, it will like blow all of those crazy ideas about consumption and style and fashion out of the water. I like to divide elements of style into three categories because there are so, so many. I don't think I can cover them all in this video. Number one is the vibe, the mood of the garment or the outfit that you're putting together. The second is the overall shape. We're talking about silhouettes, proportions, cuts, that kind of thing. And the third are just 
styling techniques, use of color, uses of texture and outfit tension, and tweaking little things like tucking and rolling. If you want to get more into these details, the Shop Your Closet events are really the best place to see this in action in real time styling. However, all of my older videos as part of the Shop Your Closet playlist go into these elements as well, so you can find that up here. We can break this concept down even further to a single garment and apply it that way. So let's take a plain white t-shirt, for example. Instead of seeing this as just a basic white tee that you've probably worn the same way or a bunch of different ways and you might be getting tired of it because it's such a basic, what if we stop seeing it as a t-shirt and instead we see it as a bright white contrast to like a forest green deep color and black that also provides a little bit of like a sporty, bright freshness to a look? Or what if we see it in terms of texture and how this texture plays up against that luxurious, rich feeling of a vintage suede skirt, you know? Like the weave of this beautiful cotton tee feels a little bit sporty and has a nice little bit of tension with that suede. Not to mention the color play here as well is interesting because it's a little bit softer. So you're getting tension from the texture and you're getting harmony from the color. So notice how all of a sudden it's no longer just a plain white tee. It's this great ingredient to a cocktail that is all your own. The thing with this concept is that like all things, it takes practice. Creativity is like a muscle. The more you try and the more you practice, and yes, you might make some mistakes and like, that's fine. It's just clothing. It's just fashion. It's not the end of the world. But the more you practice and do it, the more confident you'll become in your choices and the more confident you'll become in your own personal style. And this will also help you make smarter shopping decisions because rather than seeing all of the options out there as, you know, things that other people are wearing that you think you have to wear, you'll be able to pick out the elements that you love that work best on your body and for your lifestyle and your own personal style. And you'll be able to kind of clear out the noise. And it's a really, really rewarding thing and a game changing concept that I don't know, I swear it's worked for me. I'm trying not to be too dramatic about it. It's pretty amazing. And that's why we do our Shop Your Closet events so regularly because it does take practice and it's fun to do with a group because you see what elements other people pull out of inspiration outfits. I've heard from so many of you that this is a concept that has helped you open up the possibilities in your wardrobe. So I'm going to leave it here today. Hope that you take a minute to shop your closet, play a little bit of dress up. Also take a minute to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you learned something new, hit subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you so, so much for being here and I will be back in another slow fashion video. Ciao!